Well, we got some very, very difficult news to swallow because coming out of the last game, if we look at our injury report, we're now missing four guys. Technically, Hornquist is now cleared to play through a mild concussion and with post-concussion syndrome done basically until season's end is David Legwan. We're missing him for about two to three months, so that is a massive kick in the sack right there, missing David Legwan until basically season's end. Morrison is going to be gone for quite a while as well. I forgot about his injury. It was long-term, too. Um, he'll come back a, uh, a couple of weeks before Legwan will. So that sucks because we're missing two centers right there, and our center depth is now depleted. And we're also missing Blum, but he'll be back soon. So we'll get Jonathan Blum back soon. But I think filling in in his spot, Ryan Ellis has done a very solid job. And we're also coming off of our first loss in seven games. Unfortunate the way that that went. But good news is we're playing a struggling Arizona, or at this point they were the Phoenix Coyotes still, uh, a Phoenix Coyotes team. And look who we've got ahead of us, Anaheim. You know how well we played against Anaheim this season. So I'm looking forward to these games and these matchups. This will be the first time we face the Coyotes in our building. Well, we are a very banged up Nashville Predators team right now. And we got so many guys that are on the IR. We have David Legwan on the IR until season's end. And we're, we basically have the same thing with Brendan Morrison. He's, he's on IR until season's end too, for the most part. I mean, he might as well be. Um, I don't remember what the last date of the season is. It's in April, obviously, but I don't know the exact final date of the season, but we're, we're missing those guys for the long term. Hornquist is back, though, so we did get Patrick Hornquist back. He's in the lineup for this game. And uh, we'll be getting Jonathan Blum back shortly as well, so that'll help us out on the defensive side. But as far as the forwards are concerned, we're pretty roughed up right now. And we cannot afford any more significant injuries, especially down the middle, because we don't have enough center depth to make up for this. Good play, Craig Smith. Get on there. And Rene might be better off to hold that, but I decided to play it anyway. And I'm going to sky this into the zone. Craig Smith is waiting patiently on the blue line. And Mike Fisher, I don't remember. He was the second line center, was he not? He is now the first line center again. He was at one point first line center, but roles change and players shift and move around. I don't remember the line combinations off the top of my head. And they're my own line combinations. This is my team, and I play all these games with this team. But, yeah, I don't know who's playing where all the time. I do know that Patrick Hornquist is back, and we're taking it right to the net early on. We're going to test Mike Smith. We need to get some goals here, which is something we struggled with against Florida. It was the first time we've been held to two goals for, two goals for in a long time. We have been on a tear scoring goals. The offense has not struggled in the last about seven or so games until we met the Florida Panthers in this building in the last tilt. Which, I mean, you knew it was coming. We were due for a loss like that. We were definitely due. And I, I didn't I didn't have a good feeling going into, the, into that game against Florida, but it is what it is. You put it behind you. Memory hole that game. And get ready to play this game against the Arizona Coyotes. Unfortunate. Oh, don't score on your own goaltender now. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm definitely in trouble. And there's that pass back to the point. Yandel across to the other point. Guy tipped on. Rene will ca catch it and cover. So do we need to go tight point much like uh, we did against Florida? That got us in trouble. The other thing that really... the thing that, Why are we going? Why are we fighting? Okay, I didn't press a button. I swear to you I didn't press a button to fight. I, didn't, well, I don't want to fight, but Craig Smith apparently wants to fight David Moss for some reason. Knocked him in the next Sunday. Nice hit there. Nice punch there. 
Craig Smith. And if you got all your anger problems out of your system now, <laughs> he's fired up. This is this is for what Florida did to us in the last game. I tried to start a few fights in that game and it never happened. So I don't I didn't even want to do that, but whatever. Game I have no control over the game. I don't I don't may have maybe maybe I accidentally did press something. Who knows? Oh Hornquist just let it go right past him. And Hornquist is getting double shifted now. So welcome back to the lineup. Because uh, Craig Smith's got to go sit in the box for uh oh I didn't mean to do that. I'm making little silly mistakes right now. But we're gonna go on a power play. And with Craig Smith, of course, in the box, Hornquist is going to get double shifted, is what I was trying to say. There's just too much going on in the game right now. My brain can't focus on everything that's happening all at once. Nice drawn penalty by Mike Fisher. The power play has moved around a little bit. Oh, the okay, so because I iced it, I think this becomes a neutral zone face off the third power play, which is just a little bit of an oddity. But uh, Colin Wilson's on the power play as the center. I think he's this he yeah he's a center on I think the second unit and that's in the bench sloppy start to the power play and there is Colin Wilson you see him there you see him now taking a face off as your second line uh, power play second power play unit center that's in the absence of David Legwan I oh man this power play needs some serious work piece of work power play I'm going to drive the corner and then cut back. And now you guys need to get into some space. Shea Weber has the right idea. No, not enough movement from these teammates, man. You want to score goals on the power play, you got to move. Got to move. You got to have movement. Shea Weber is too slow skating. No one's getting open. You're just standing around. Fine. I'll do it myself. Good God. That should be kept in, and it's just there. It's there, but Weber very lazily. Oh, please. It's going in. That was definitely in. Oh, that was... Oh, we need to look at that. That was over the goal line, as far as I know. Oh, it's close. It's close. Oh, my goodness. Micrometers from going over the goal line and pulled back by Morris. I actually have a photo of this guy on the bench when Arizona was in Nashville. Maybe I'll flash it on the screen if uh, if I know what I'm doing in editing. Oh, that was a frustrating power play. We have got to get our... We don't have our sea legs underneath us. Even though we're not at sea. Technically, we're on ice. Oh, no. <sighs> this is going to get frustrating if we can't clean up our, clean up our play. Hansel's just standing there waiting for a prime rebound, and he got it. No one's boxing out. Just want to see this rebound. Yeah, you got to box out. Uh, to be fair, I guess Rene should try to not give up that rebound, but I'm not pointing fingers at a goaltender for that play. Yeah, my suggestion, box out as a defenseman. Win the box out, clean, clean up the play in front. Your goaltender's going to give up rebounds. Clean it up. Now go to the corner and go pick this puck up. Win a battle. For once in your freaking life. That was nicely done to set that up. We just didn't score. In front. And that didn't score either. Hornquist is back. Now, I don't want to see any more body checks. Especially to a player that's coming back off an injury. We don't need injuries. If anyone gets injured, it's the Arizona Coy Phoenix Coyotes. Excuse me. Oh, this pressure, man. This is a dangerous play, but... Oh. Got a lead, Kostitsin, better than that. Get in there, Fisher. Hit him. Yeah. Make him feel pain. Down low. Don't take a big hit, Kostitsin. I'm so nervous about hits now. I'm paying... I'm paying extra close attention to the position that I'm putting my players in because we just can't afford injuries. Gil's slow skating. Getting back to the puck. He's so slow. That's one way to get the puck out. Now, I'm going like one on four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's about how I expected that to work out. I don't know what I'm doing with these deeks. I, I think I do, and then the next moment I'm trying to pull something off, and it looks stupid. 
I tried to fly that out of the zone. God, I'm going to give up a gold by just trying to do something cheeky, and it... <sighs> cover the puck, Rene. Just cover the puck. We don't have it. Whatever it is, we don't have it. We don't even know what we're looking for. No, what I'm looking for is a tidy game. I want to play a tidy game. Oh. On the rebound again. All right. Tide point is not it. I'm telling you what, bro. What are you guys doing with these freaking rebounds? We're letting some guy Voros? Who is this guy? I never even freaking heard of him. Oh, these rebound the re this one's a bad rebound from Rene. You got to cover that short side after that rebound. But I'm going to protect the net. Screw this. You guys need to figure it out. And we're going to go weak side lock. I'm changing my four check. I'm just at a loss for words right now. This is what happens, man. We 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 had a hot stretch of play, but man, now we're we're due for that slump, aren't we? And we get a rebound, we can't finish it. That's a penalty. That's it's all just going off right now. It's setting off like a, a tent of fireworks right now. Oh. Got I got egregious with that stick and, and the game penalized me for it. Quite literally. 18th best power play in the league. And if, who knows, I'll probably score a goal on a rebound. All right, House Chuck, time to dance. He doesn't have he, Oh, he does have dance moves. He's drawing a penalty. That's not gonna, gonna negate our power play, or or their power play, our penalty. It kind of will negate our power play. We'll get like 20 minutes of power play, or 20 seconds of power play time. I wish we had 20 minutes of power play time. Believe me, it wouldn't matter. We still wouldn't score on it. But anyway, focus on the game that's in front of you. Oh, Comiskey. Why are we not shooting the puck, Fisher? Despite the fact that I push up on the right stick, he didn't shoot the puck. You gotta get to these. Injury? Offside. Oh, offside. I see it now. <laughs> I'm hearing the whistle and I'm freaking out about injuries. You gotta hunt down your own, your own loose puck. Stay with that play. There you go. Roll out. Oh, it was there. They got a better stick on it. Cross the rink. And we're going to be on a very, very abbreviated power play. But if we score on it, you never know. That was bad. That was never going to lead to a goal. Okay, that was a flub of a shot. And neither power play, of course, able to score because it was super abbreviated for both sides. That was smart for them to dump that in because Shea Weber has got no speed, but he's going to torture Hansel in the corner. Someone come help out Kostitsin. It took a defenseman pinching from the point to help out. Aww. Oh. Oh, you're going to go skate? Oh, never mind. Don't outsmart me. I thought he was going to go right for the corner. And there it is on the opposite side wing. That was a good pass. That's what I'm trying to set up most of the time off the rush, but the AI just doesn't do the right thing. Ooh, we could really use a goal. Are we really going to are we going to start seeing the effects of being depleted in the lineup? behind Rich Clune. It's too far behind him. That is sloppy. What a sloppy end of the, to what was a just sloppy period. We're just not playing acceptable hockey. This is not Nashville Predators hockey. Uh, and my idea of Nashville Predators hockey is, oh, are we starting the fourth line? Why are we starting the fourth line? That's random as hell. But, okay. Fourth line out there to start the second period. Maybe that's the swift change we need. And uh, we need to get on our physical game. Get on our four check. Get a goal. Who better to do it than Rich Clune or Gostad? This fourth line may have been the perfect decision to go with. Look at this. Oh, we got that to Halischuk. 
This fourth line has been, this is uh, something straight out of a miracle film. I, I don't know what a miracle film is, but uh, this is crazy. Save off Weber. We got to get right back on the defensive side of the puck, Weber. There you go. Good takedown in the corner. We could we can afford to lose Ryan Ellis to injury. I don't really want to say that, but we we can. Just keep getting it to the net. Eventually, we're bound to score one. It's Mike Smith we're playing against. Okay. Actually, I think Mike Smith is a it was on the in the All Star game as one of the top goaltenders on stats this year. Oh, Hornquist airmailed it. I'm going to chalk that one up to Rust, okay? I'll give him a pass on that. I'm going to chalk that up to Rust. Did everything right. Made a move to get around his guy. That's going to that's gonna be right to the net. They're taking it right hard to the net like we are. Block it. <sighs> Rene must just be tired. He's not playing a good game. That's from the point now. Deflected? Nope. Verbata clean from the point. What is Rene doing? What is he... I mean, I know he's a little bit screen, but man, you gotta save that. That paddle down... That paddle down animation has cost him twice in this game. Alright. I'm... I am literally just gonna start... I'm gonna mix up the lineup in the intermission, or I might even... I'm gonna do it sooner if we're just gonna keep playing like this. There's going to be some new line combinations coming out of this period. Oh, Mike Smith. That's the lay of game. It is the lay of game. That, he, he's done that every game we played Arizona or Phoenix. Okay. Time to do overload strategy and just... I, you've got to just barrel charge Mike Smith and he will throw that thing out of play. So he loves that delay of game penalty when we play their team. 0 for 2 on the power play. That's unfortunate, but I'm changing some things up. We've gone overload strategy, not like it will help. There has got to be urgency with this power play. We have got to get back in this game right here, right now. Oh, man, these passes. We got to negate it. Icing, that's going to be waved off because we negated it. Do we have a guy there? No, we don't. This is the problem with us. Sloppy ass. Sloppy ass. That's what we're playing like. Oh my. Oh my. <sighs> I'm just going to skate this coast to coast with Yossi. Screw you guys. Screw this. Coast to coast. <sighs> oh man, it's bad. Oh, it's bad. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what I'm watching. I I don't know what I'm watching here. Do it again. <laughs> they did it again. <laughs> I, have I just found it? Uh, God, our power play is bad. So it doesn't matter. Full attack. Just screw it. Full attack. I can't believe I've gotten him to do it twice in the game. So another power play opportunity ensues. It shouldn't be. <sighs> I'm about to put Hal Gill on the power play. That's how bad things are right now. We're getting deflections there, but nothing, nothing to show for that. Okay. Oh, they inter interrupted that pass big time. Turn around and skate. Forsberg, turn around. Skate. That's a penalty. That's a penalty out of frustration. And we're gonna we're gonna go to four on four play again because I took a. F I'm an idiot, straight up. I am straight up just frustrated. I knew I was gonna get beaten to that puck, and we've just we have gotten beaten to every single puck we've had to retrieve on these power plays. It just never stops. We're losing this game because we're beating ourselves. Really, we just look so bad. We're beating ourselves. That's not helpful. Not helpful at all, Colin Wilson. Oh, 
We're just, we're, we're, we're inches away from making plays. This reminds me so much of the Blues game that we lost seven to nothing or whatever the hell we lost that game by. This is it. This is your moment. Take it. These breakaways aren't going in. These breakaways are just not going in. Oh my lord. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I knocked the net off. That's I cheese that. I knocked the net straight off with uh Ryan Ellis. Do we have an injury? Oh yeah, we do. Oh, it's Keith Yandel. Well, you I know what that pain feels like. So cry me a river. <sighs> we give up a fourth goal, that's definitely the game. are we doing i mean this is the sloppiest play this is the weirdest game there's the weirdest plays happening right now fisher's fed up shay weber you got to get out here and start playing like like a captain there's that cutback move oh get to some space it's one of those games where the AI goalie isn't giving anything up. It doesn't matter what I try to do. Nothing's going to go in. Yep. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to be here all night. Oh, just tee it up. He's seeing it all the way through the traffic. I can take a million face-offs right now. I'm comfortable doing this. I am seriously, I'm comfortable doing this. I want to move to get the space. And a goal! Nice! Patrick Hornquist, Hornquist, welcome back to the lineup. That little deke to get to open space and then hammer it home. It, watch this subtle move right here. That gets him in the space and then he just kind of claps it. Half slapper into the back of the net. It's about time we got one. And some net front to boot. And uh, hopefully you're not injured. Because <laughs> he did take a hit after that shot. A painful goal. But a goal that is much needed. Now we're back, in the, we're back in the game now. Let's clean up our play defensively. And let's clean up our attitude. Oh, what a moop. Oh, I wanted to pass it right there. Colin Wilson's got some little handles. That's a little bit underrated. I want to be paying attention to him for the rest of the game. Cradle that, cradle that, cradle that. I'm taking a whistle. There's going to be a lot of face-offs in this game. Get ready. Another one here taken by Fisher. That move I made. Oh, why? Just why? That little move that I made with... Uh, with uh, Wilson, if I had just hit him on the backdoor play, that would have been a sweet play to score a goal. We could have, who knows what would have happened with that? Have we connected on the pass? Oh, it's there. Okay, that's fine. Come down low and support that pass. Little shimmy shake move there by Kostitsin. He's going to be around. Stick lift. And then he tried to get a five hole, and that's come off in the process. That was a move. Kostitsin's humming along. He wants to lead. He's wearing the A. Wearing it for a reason. Lead by example. Get your team back in this game. Hornquist has done it as well. He's the only guy with a goal so far for Nashville. And he looks like a complete idiot on that. Oh, don't get injured. Self-pass works out nicely. Oh, power play coming up to Nashville. I didn't even see that. That's why I wasn't so worried about the turnover. Once I noticed it, I wasn't worried about the turnover. And did they call char Did I see charging? No, holding. I didn't think charging made sense. Holding is definitely the call. Chip Shura to the box. Nashville to the power play. Umbrella strategy again. God, this power play sucks. It's the only thing going through my mind right now. And it's even when they can't even clear it 100% clean, would they just get it out? Because that's their luck tonight. We're standing each other's way. Oh, Mike Smith doing it almost again. All right. You guys need to get yourself sorted out in the neutral zone. 
and get to open sp goodness gracious goodness gracious <sighs> this is gonna have me so heated get get open all right cut back move no one's there penalty yes five on three let's go let's go baby five on three time give me my give me my first power play unit give me my give me my my first defense first power play forwards first power play defense if that makes sense <sighs> This needs to be a moment of calm and collectedness. We have got we can't rush anything. We need a good shot, good one timer if we can get it. Just get a good just get a good shot. No, oh, that's not a good shot. What am I doing? No, what are you doing? <sighs> we just we've negated two power plays with stupidity tonight. So much for that. And you know how there's a lot of ice, but you know how bad we've looked just having a, a, a regular one-man advantage. But who knows how it's going to go with a freaking four-on-three out here. We're going to give up a goal because we're this freaking trash. There's no one in, on the ice for Arizona, and we just can't even get it. Uh, we can't even get it and get it down the ice. Go. Clean now, please. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Bobby Butler. Stutter step move. Pull up. Shooting. Rebound there. Nice low shot. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Go to the back door. Where are you going, Bobby Butler? This is the problem with his team, man. That should have been in the net. And it still might be. Are you kidding me? God, Mike Smith is on something. Crack cocaine is what it is. Good block. That's not out of play, though. Oh, don't. Don't deflect. Go. Oh, come on. Just give me a freaking Kit Kat bar. This is unbelievable. This is the most unbelievable game. I'm trying to advance that puck to you, Yossi. We're not going to get a shot away before the period ends. Just get it out of the zone. Play to play for another day. Play to live another day. This game is all over the place for, for us right now. And Mike Smith is stealing the show. He is he is the competition. We beat ourselves, but we can't we can't beat Mike Smith. No one's helping out Mike. Smith. I love how it just it comes down to you end up having to do so much of the the work by yourself on some of these plays. I'm amazed we got that up to Craig Smith. That's onside. I'll take it. It's onside. And it's not in the net. That's the unfortunate part about that. I'm going to keep taking these shots. I need something. I need a change of fortune. We need... A, a, it's much like the Florida game. Trailing 3-1. to one. We're going to need a goal before we get to about the 11 minute mark. Oh, I should have had I should have had that with with Colin Wilson take a face off. Sorry Rene that we are a broken down mess. Oh god these rebounds man. Time to try this flip play. Oh are you serious? <laughs> what was that? Are you serious? That was pretty nifty. I can't believe that actually led to that goal. Did you see the passing to set that up? Oh my god, that's one of the goals of the year. Mike Fisher. <laughs> that was pretty freaking sick. I am I am just blown away by that goal. I aerial flipped that thing right to Kostitsin, right to to Craig Smith, who dropped it off for Fisher, and Fisher pots it. He finishes the play. Rarely have we been able to finish a beauty play like that this season. That was a beauty play. Should we try it again? I mean that's some some teams are legit susceptible to that. Oh, and Wilson hits the crossbar. 
Some teams are susceptible to that aerial flip play. That should have been it. Should have been a tie game. Kept in. Skate into it. Big rebounds. It, it's there. It's just bouncing around. There are chances galore. And they will aerial flip it into our zone. I got to go other side to the D. And then out to the D to D. Good job. There's the D support. That's a good breakout. I like that. And I'm just going to rip it. Rebound. I love these rebounds that Mike Smith's given up. We just got a score on one of them. We've come out with a lot of fire under our belly. I haven't changed the lineup. I haven't done any changes. No changes to the lineup. Oh, <laughs> that was unintentional, but we left it there for him. Go get after it. Get hungry. That's a nice play. Good pressure. I mean, the game has really opened up. It's made it very exciting, very entertaining. How much this has opened up lately. I mean, see how aggressive their forecheck is? That's what's leaving them susceptible to that breakout. And we can use that first line. I like Craig Smith and Kostitsyn right now. These guys are the only ones getting it done. And Fisher. I mean, I'm not going to leave that whole first line just doing it. That was the one where it looked like we left it for Kostitsyn. And if it had scored, it would have been another sick goal. Off of a failed deep, that is. But it would have been pretty amazing to see that go in. Oh, again, we win it so clean that we're not able to possess it. Think about what we could do if we had a, a actual functioning power play. But we don't. We don't have a functioning power play. I wish we did. Oh, move it to the defenseman. That's fine. There we go. And I'm going to stop and just slow the game down. Do we have anyone flying the zone? We do. That's going to miss. Is that an icing? It is. They're going to touch it. There's no way. Well, still aggressive face-off setup. That's because I'm full attack, and I went too early. And they missed the net. I brought Kamiski so far over. I thought that was a forward, to be honest, though. That's tough. There we go. Kamiski, he's in the right spot. <laughs> Drive the net. You got to start driving the net, man. That's it. That is the play. Oh, man. These pucks are winding up right... No, AI takes a penalty. Pucks are winding up on our stick. We're just not getting the finish that we need. And they do go offside, but we're going to be short-handed. Short-handed for how many times in this game? Three is three or four times now that we have gone to the penalty box. This is an AI penalty. There's no need to be doing that. We're still trailing in the game. There is there is nine and a half minutes left. This is the fourth power play of the night, technically, for the Coyotes. Help me out. Now, I'm going to have a little bit of urgency with this penalty kill. I am going to be honest, because we do kind of need it. Okay, self-pass. Maybe you draw a penalty. Who knows? And it, it, it hasn't mattered. It would only help make the penalty kill maybe a little bit easier, or it would negate a power play goal for Arizona. Phoenix, whatever. Phoenix, which is in Arizona. Oh, that's not it. Yep. We need to be a little bit wiser about this. If you just drive the net, Fisher just drive the net. Not it. It's not driving the net. I think because it's a penalty kill, I mean, you don't want to go too all out, all, all out crazy aggressive yet. But I mean, I'm going to shoot the puck no matter what. Go. That's you. That's you, Yossi. And Butler. Oh, yeah. Short-handed Bobby Butler. That's exactly it. That's why you got to go with me. If you don't go with me, then we can't make that play happen. And we can't tie the game with a shorthanded goal. That's it. Drive the net. It's that simple. What was Mike Smith even trying to do? What was the attempt on this? What was the thought process? Desperation save not needed. But I'm glad he went for it because the, that means a puck enters the back of the net for the third time. And we have now scored three unanswered to tie this freaking game and now we can just focus on a regular penalty kill yeah you would be better served you should have covered that I'm going to go and tell you right now and hold on to it there we go Alice Chuck just tee it up weird floater were you expecting that Mike Smith oh no Alice Chuck that's my penalty that is my penalty <sighs> that's
That's just a, that's a deflating penalty that you could that could be a deflating penalty that we just took right there. All because it got a little egregious with the stick checking button. Right here. Shouldn't have done that. I was well behind the player. Well behind the guy. Okay, let's not go full attack. Standard standard setup. But that worked for us in the last one. I'm not saying that this is a guaranteed, you know, penalty kill that can score again. That's a penalty? That's not a penalty. Get out of here. In what world is that a penalty? Come on! I want to see this again. Oh, no, that's not... It interferes. The puck is right there. <sighs> Rigged. Rigged for her pleasure. <laughs> this is so dumb, dude. And into the bench. Good God. Uh, this is basically a full five-on-three power play for the Arizona Phoenix Coyotes. Arizona Phoenix Coyotes. Uh, that's the new name of the team. I'm just going to plant myself right here with Gostad. And that's got to be out. There's no choice now. Oh, Mike Smith. Oh, what are we doing? Dumping it in. Just shoot it on net. He was getting back in the net. You got to get your twig, buddy. Your twig and berries. That's off the skate. No, don't. No, no, no. Kill time. Kill time. Behind the net decline. That was dangerous. Out. Change it. Change up the penalty killers right now. Might want to do that to the forwards as well. I changed the defense specifically. Take this back checker and get right on your horse. Get right in the zone. In their faces. Whoa, what a rejection. And Mike Smith will carelessly play it again. This dude has got a happiness for playing the puck tonight and in all occasions where we play the coyotes we're gonna kill this thing off if i can just be a little bit patient with this go 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 oh that's gill okay well that's fine weak floater that's it no more penalties for the rest of the night no more penalties who are we putting out here okay first pair first line that's fine with me it's good with me <sighs> the stress is going up right now Neither power play has been really good in this game for either team. Oh, we can jump on that. There it is. Go, go, go. No help. No, I got no help. If you don't have friends, man. It really sucks if you don't have friends on those rushed breakout attacks. Oh, Weber, get over there. Get on the rebound too, man. We, this is lazy defending. Did you see that move coming? Did you see that move coming? I don't think you did. <sighs> Someone's got to break through here before regulation play in a yellow jersey. You need to break through. What a time it would be for Ryan Ellis to get his first career goal. Goal! Ryan Ellis, not first career goal. Maybe first career goal. I don't even know if it's his first career goal. But what a, his first of the season and what a clutch one it was off the face-off. What a power move. That is huge. Four unanswered. One short-handed to tie it. One with 217 left to take the lead. This has been crazy. This is the craziest freaking game in a long time. This is insane. I'm proud to be a part of this now i'm happy to actually be playing this game now let's not blow it all right here oh off the head of fisher no injuries i don't need a concussion to mike fisher go get on the boards that's your outlet that's what the outlet's got to be i'm gonna pull back you guys just drive the net that was bad but it's fine we're, we're playing behind the lead now let's not get complacent though but we are playing behind the lead. No rebounds there, Rene. Go. I'm flying the zone. The net's going to be empty sooner or later. If it's not already, it doesn't say whether the net is empty for the Coyotes, so... Move it. There we go. Is this going to be a goal for Hornquist? Is the net empty? It is not. I took an unnecessary risk there with that body check. 
Look at these guys. They're dogs on a bone on that four check. This is the end of the game right here. This is a big possession defensively. Rejected, drop it back. Spaling is at center. Spaling's going to get a goal through hard work. Yes. No need to celebrate like that, but do whatever you want, I guess. This was a hard-earned victory. Eleventh of the year, empty netter, and well-deserved. He needed that empty net goal. And we needed it as a team. It definitely puts this game to bed. There's no question about this one now. And we get five, with one being in an empty net. But it all counts the same. No injuries to Mike Fisher here. Oh, man, I wanted that. That saucer pass is so hard to connect on. And that's the game. We're going to take victory. Nice rebound W after a tough game against Florida. And we weren't really even clean in this game. We were pretty sloppy for the most part. We come away with the win anyway. Uh, Jonathan Blom, welcome back. I am so sorry to Ryan Ellis, who got a goal in the last game, but I, I may be having to take you out of the lineup unless Blom is a non is it is it a is it still an injury that's just a playable injury? It says three days until he's fully healthy. So I may sit Blum for an extra game just to be safe about it. Um because we don't we don't really need him right now. And I'm feeling really good about Ryan Ellis. I think Ryan Ellis is working quite well. Uh, injury report is in the GM option, so I need to go here and look at Blum. It's technically a playable injury, and he's not supposed to come back until February 18th. And what is the date in the game world? It's the 16th, which is my mother's birthday and my sister's birthday, actually. <laughs> so uh, February 16th, um, two days before he is supposed to return from injury, so we're going to sit him out for a game. I got to, I, you know, Ellis scores a goal in the last game, then, uh, you know, he's got to stay in the lineup in my mind. We can't just take him right out of the lineup after scoring that clutch goal against the Arizona or Phoenix Coyotes. I am going to be saying that every time.